hey guys welcome again to my channel so in today's video I will be showing you how I create this bomb thumbnail okay if you are new to my channel welcome don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you will not miss an upload from me without further ado let's get into the video okay guys so the first thing that you want to do is open keynote and then you are going to go into presentation choosing the first one and make sure that you hit the wide angle and also go ahead and click choose so now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the text boxes and I'm going to resize the canvas so um, it'll be 1280 by 720 and that is the dimensions for YouTube okay and next I'm going to import all my images so I have a background image that I will be using that I downloaded from you from a uh, yeah from a uh, Google sorry so I I'm just readjusting that background image and you can use whatever image you want to um, you can even use plain um, just use colors if you wish okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and import another image um, but this is an image of myself um, this image is actually in black and white you can use whatever image that you'd like of yourself okay and we want to get rid of the white background so that it's transparent so that is what I'm going to do right now okay and you want to make sure that you're not um, getting too much of the image because it will come all over your your clothes you don't want to go too far and just do that and that gets rid of the background when you're finished then you just hit done and so as you can see all the background is gone as much as I'd like okay so now I'm gonna put a border around it and I'll make that a white border because right now as you can see it looks black and I can resize it to make it as big as I want to so that's what I'm doing right now okay and then I want to add some drop shadows to make it pop out like um, like it's uh, like it's a poster away from the, the, the background so that's what I'm doing right now and you can make it as big or as small as you'd like the shadow to be I like to use around 32 all right so then I just put it where I want it to be and then I will go ahead and add some text and this is where you would add whatever text message that you want uh, someone to see on your video um, I was there trying to figure out what what I wanted to say
end up, from my experience it's good to have um, each text box have their own um, so just do them individually just grab each text instead of you know um, doing a whole line you can just um, easily do this okay and so now what I'd like to do is choose my font and also resize it so that I can see it better I'm putting it around 150 and I'm doing that for all three texts so basically right now I am just resizing them and then after that I will go ahead and choose whichever text that I'd like to use to make it stand out give it a pop And uh, <clears throat> once I chose my my text, then um, I go ahead and adjust um, the text. Um, so basically, what I'm doing is adding a drop shadow um, behind the text as well, just to make it not look so flat, like it's lifted from the canvas or the background. And I'm using a curved drop shadow. And I didn't quite like that font um, in that particular area, so I will be changing that to a different font. And uh, you can always go on the font.com and um, and get various different fonts that you'd like. And they're free. And they're easily downloadable and installable. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay. So you can choose whatever font that you'd like. Um, it's uh, totally up to you. Just make sure that it's readable. Um, so people can click on it, you know. And so after you're done with that then you go ahead and import some more um, emojis um, I downloaded a couple of emojis that I put on there and you just adjust it and place it where you want want it to go
just basically add some character to your thumbnail And I'm just adjusting that to make sure that it goes behind the font so it's not covering it up. And as you can see guys, this is real easy. Um, it doesn't take that much effort and you can get a great looking thumbnail. Okay, so that looks good. So all I do now is um, I just go ahead and export it um, to a JPEG image. And that's it in a nutshell, you guys. You know, if it looks good enough for you, then you can always just, you know, go ahead and save it and then upload it when you upload your video. And, uh, yeah that is it hope you guys enjoy the video thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one guys thank you so much for watching bye guys